Good morning. Long day yesterday and an uh, emotionally trying one, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, overnight oats tonight or today. Really great cup of cold brew coffee. Sorry about that. Um, I have a bunch of content I made yesterday, but I didn't post. After the uh, Cook's Corner video, and I don't, I didn't realize how much that video would affect me for the rest of the day. Uh, but I like had a really bad panic attack, like heart pounding, uh, room spinning, and I got through it, you know, but it just. Uh, you know, some things, they just, they just kind of put you on a path of thinking and you just get really messed up. And it set me on a path all day of, am I really making a difference? Does it really matter? And, you know, self-doubt starts kicking in. Oh, yeah, you know. Just, uh, so I got through the day, got home, went to bed, got some real sleep. Like I just woke up, kids got off to school and you know, go on, if, if you're vlogging and social media, you have to check your socials and I check in my socials and someone that I consider a friend, not a family member, not a survivor, a friend. A true, genuine friend um, makes this post about how she, you know, she's gone to the gym. She signed up for a membership. And at the the funny thing was, I'm like, why am I getting this post in my, not in my feed, but it was in my notifications. Well, she had tagged Love Wins and me thanking us for always saying, do things that you're afraid to do so you can do things that you're afraid to do and get comfortable in the uncomfortable. And I needed that. Uh, she didn't know that yesterday was a really hard day for me. You know, I, I don't want to say I put on a brave face, but, you know, I, when something like Cook's Corner happens, I, I, I have trained myself to instantly go into how can we help mode. And I think I realized today and yesterday that it's more of a defense mechanism because I don't want to get into the feelings. And... When things slow down enough and I'm by myself, that's when the thoughts kick in. That's when my PTSD, my PTSD kicks in, my anxiety, the panic attacks, things like that. And that's where it's, you know, that self-doubt, it'll get a hold of you and then it just starts digging. And um, so, yeah, yesterday was kind of a rough day, especially in the afternoon. And to go to bed and be like, okay, I'll start tomorrow, Let's get fresh. And that be the first thing I see it was really what I needed. So, Melissa, thank you so much. I appreciate you being open to the universe to allow yourself to hear my message and post a thank you to me because I really needed it. Um... You know, we all have these missions and these passions in life and, you know, we do it if we're truly doing it because we're doing it for the right reasons. You don't need the attaboys and the pats on the back. And what I, it wasn't that I needed that. I was just, I wanted some type, I guess I needed some type of confirmation that it doesn't matter if only one person's hearing my messages. And then that means that my messages are for that one person. In a perfect world, you know, I want my kids to be able to have... See, this all started with the one video to Jelly to thank him. Then it was, okay, I'm going to post one video a day at least. We all know how that's going. <laughs> one video a day. So at least for one year, I just made, made a commitment for one year so my kids would have a year of my life of a daily vlog to know that their dad never gave up and always pushed forward. Then it turned into the my pretend Gary V challenge seven to fifteen times a day to grow my digital footprint so I can help change the world and get the message farther out there. 
And it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work to make sure you create content. It's a lot of work that, you know, you're changing the context of every video. It's a lot of work. And it's a passion project because, you know, I'm not doing this for monetary gain. I'm not doing it for anything other than I'm truly trying to get my digital footprint out there so I can share the message of love, win, hope. Love wins, hope, healing, and being there for each other and changing the world through kindness. And I know, you know, it's always cool when you do random acts of kindness. And it's the coolest when someone does something as simple as say thank you is the biggest random act. Of, that's the biggest flex of random act of kindness in my world. And it truly, 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 truly meant the world to me. It changed my world today, Melissa. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. So I, I put it out there, guys. Like, I even feel better talking about it video now. Like, the beginning of the video was a little bit down because uh, I was still processing. And just doing, reciprocating the random act of kindness that was done for me this morning and saying thank you, Melissa, brightened my day. So if you made it all the way to the end of this six minute video, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for everybody else who does listen to the videos, likes, comments, shares. It does, uh, it makes my world so much brighter knowing that the message that we are getting out there is getting out there to people that need it. So in a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise you, it will change the world. I'm living proof of it.